Welcome back to the stripper vlogs. Are you guys ready? I don't think you are. Staying in a positive mindset is crucial. It is very important to do. Um, days go by, months go by, those months turn to years. And throughout those years, you learn a lot of, a lot of like life lessons. You either learn from them and grow or you stay stagnant. I feel like life is showing me the correct and the most necessary life lessons that there is to learn and I'm very grateful for that. Headed into work, I'm gonna say my prayer. I'm gonna record my eating show at the locker room. I'm most likely gonna get sushi or something, relatively healthy. And um, some people are asking things like, why I always wear the same dress or why I don't have like fly gear or why um, I basically recycle my outfits. To be honest, it's because I don't see, I don't see, like, I'm single and I don't see who I'm going to be, like, showing out for. I'm going to work or I'm going to the gym. I don't, I don't feel the need to, like, dress up and go buy expensive clothes and try to look like I'm in fashion because I have other priorities to take care of. And that's part of just being an adult. Yes, I can probably go out and buy myself some really cute stuff because I went back to stripping. Oh, Nina went back to stripping. She's still wearing the same white clothes. Absolutely, 100% correct. And I will continue to wear the same clothes until I get to where I need to be. Will I buy myself something nice here and there? Probably, maybe, but that's not my craving. That's not why I'm going into this club. I'm going into this club because I have things that I actually want to take care of that I could have taken care of a long time ago had I had this kind of income coming in. And I'm not focused on being flashy or, ooh, I'm gonna start work so I can like get a better car. Like I'm not, I'm not in it for that. I have an actual purpose and a meaning to what I'm doing. I'm very aware of why I'm going into the strip club. I'm not ignorant to what's going on. This is literally just a job for me. I feel blessed. I honestly feel blessed that at 40 years old, I could even go back into a strip club and look the way that I do. I could have been out of shape and I could have just, life could have just taken a toll on me and I could have not even been able to have the option to perform at this, at this job. I feel truly blessed. I don't feel like it's a curse. I don't feel like it's, Oh my God, you're 40 years old, about to be 41 years old, and you're at a strip club. This is literally just a job. I could take the same amount of time and I could invest it at a regular job, and I'm, no, I'm not gonna get anywhere near to what my goal is any faster by doing that. So um, I feel very blessed that I'm able to do this job, honestly. Like, there's nothing else. I've said that like 15,000 times, but my life could have been different right now. I could have been you know 40 and look like not this not this i look like this for a reason um god has held me together like this for a reason so i'm trying to maximize that now and i'm trying to be as responsible as i can be with what god is blessing me with it's it's really easy to just be like look at the dark side of strip clubs. I don't know, I, I, don't, I don't see that. I see opportunity, I see chances, I see, oh my God, I, I could really meet somebody really cool. I see progress, I see me being able to prosper and be independent, that's what I see. I don't see hopelessness and oh my God, this is so embarrassing. I don't see that, I'm like, this is great. I can actually go in here and do this job. I'm blessed, I'm blessed. There's the winds blowing and my hair is going all over the place. I am kind of hungry for sushi. So I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna eat. 
right now the sun is out when i come out there will be no sunlight at work they said i could leave by 10 o'clock so because i'm here early i was like oh cool i thought i could leave here by midnight they're like no you can leave here by 10. i was like awesome so i'm gonna try to order some food let me get throw on my clothes really quick let's get strip club ready I think I'm finding like the perfect shift for me to work. I get enough time to like get ready and not feel pressure of like getting dressed or anything. And um, I could stay longer if I want to, but I'm not obligated to, which is perfect. By the way, like when I ate my food on my eating show channel called Nina Ready Eats, I was sitting on my dress, not on a bare floor, obviously. So many people freaked out about that. For those of you who want to know why I wear a silver butt plug, check out the description box. There's an entire video on it. So there's a reason why I wear this. I just ordered Uber Eats. I'm so excited. I ordered tacos. I can't wait to eat that. I'm going to pee. Put in my tampon and my butt plug and wait for my food to get here. Yes. This back part is under construction. So it's a perfect place for me to run my camera. It's my turn to go on stage. So Let's see how this goes. I'm getting myself a soda because I'm about to eat my food. It just got here as soon as I got off the stage. Perfect timing. I'm excited. I've washed my hands and I'm sitting on my dress. You guys don't have to like freak out. If you want to watch the eating show video, it's Nina Ready to Eat. Oh, my hair. So I'm having tacos. And I have a Coke here, so let's get to eating. I just finished eating and I'm so full and I only have two tacos. I'm thinking I want to finish this, but I don't really think I do, actually. Now that I thought about it, I thought I was going to, but I'm, no. I was trying to open this and I got lipstick all over the corner. I'm trying to clean it up, it's not working. Being a good stripper takes a lot of work. I don't have lip liner, so I'm trying to do this without a lip liner. This lipstick is called, um, what is this called? Shoot, they made this label so small. Oh, spanked, spanked. That's what it's called, spanked. The tables are the la labels are super tiny. Why do I? I just washed my hair. Uh -uh. So, yes, looks good.
Bitch, I got problems, or 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 solve them. I run through the money, depression be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back, tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and dub it. Cause bitch, I got problems, or problems, or problems, or problems, or problems, or problems, or solve them. I run through the money, depression be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back, tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. You a dollar or something Don't hang with a nigga who lying for nothing I see that we different, you ride and I double my don't do this Girl, I need to come out here I need to come in this locker room And calm my ass down So I'm giving a dance And the dude decides that he wants to put Try to put his mouth on my nipple And I caught it right before it even touched I was like, I smushed his face I was like, what are you doing? I was like, don't ever try that shit again He's like, oh, I'm so sorry I'm like, if your mouth ever touches my skin like that Or even comes near it This dance is over So I was like, as a matter of fact You need to stand up, you need to pay me I got my money And I was like, as soon as he paid me I was like, the dance is over And I walked out Disrespectful I don't want you licking on me. I'm sacred. Shit. I'll be clean. Mm -mm. Can we put in no slop and saliva? Ooh. Let me breathe because I almost punched him in the face. Like I'm telling you, some of these dudes just be nasty. I'm like, you don't even know. Like, if the guy, let's say I dance for like 10 people. How you don't even know what the all those all those other people were, and you're just gonna go around trying to lick on people. Like, why would you try to lick on a dancer, a stripper? And it, why would you try to lick that? Like, are you crazy? You do not put your mouth on any entertainer ever. That is a hell to the nah. Especially, look, if you want to upset me, you try to lick on me, because, uh, uh, I'm gonna start putting Tabasco sauce on my nipples. <laughs> Fuck these niggas up when they try to dump shit. That's why you always want to use body spray that's high in alcohol so you taste as nasty as possible. You'll smell good, but you'll taste hella nasty. And that only works if they're not super drunk. So keep that in mind. They be doing the most sometimes. Mm, they're making me so nice. Look at all of the upgrades. Yes, this is where we do our private dances. It's kind of loud in here because they're under construction. So I'm thinking that I just found my confessional booth, okay? This is beyond awesome. So our entire club is under construction. They're giving us new dressing rooms. They're giving us new dance areas. They're adding some new stuff to the VIP bar in the back, which means that business must be good for this club, which is awesome. They have a, a lot of like little cleaning up to do, touch things here and there, but it's good. It's good when you see a club investing money in themselves, which is awesome. One person, maybe two. Imagine trying to get a couple in here and you. There's gonna be limbs everywhere. It's gonna be. Wow, this is awesome. Yes, it's a new construction. Here I am trying to pee, and a guy just came into the wrong bathroom. <laughs> He's trying to force the door open. I was like, You're in the wrong bathroom. Just your pee. I'm like, No, you're in the wrong bathroom. Wait, making sure I'm not like bleeding through the family. Oh, no, I'm not. Definitely not. Getting bigger locker room, Joe. Check this out. So. I could take the, if they left everything white, it would be perfect because I could take perfect pictures back here. Today's the day of like gross, nasty clients. I just had somebody. If I didn't run fast enough, he would have thrown up on my leg. It's like, what is going on today? Like, they're just, they're all like, gone. I mean, like, this is crazy. One guy tried to throw up on me, the other one tried to lick me, and then the other one's wearing dirty pants, and he's like, oh, can you give me a dance? I was like, um, oh, let him go by as a customer. I was like, 
He's like, can you give me a dance? I was like, no. Today has been one of those like really awkward type customers, but thank God it got better. So when you first start at a club, never ever give up. You really gotta just wait and see what happens because all the girls are out there right now. Whew. Let me freshen up and get back out there and do what I do. I know it's not funny, but the same guy that tried to like lick on my nipple just tried doing it to someone else and it did not go well. <laughs> they were like, this is nasty ass. I'm like, I know, I'm like, girl, they be out there, but they were like, did he get you to an online? He almost did, but I stopped him, like, dead on his tracks. Like, I was not trying to hear it. I was like, nope. I was like, I cut the dance short and everything. I'm trying to haul ass and get out of here. And I am officially out of here. Woo. I am gone. Um, just gotta get my car. Today was, it started off really slow. I got some really like, really interesting like customers. It was so funny. But um, to say nonetheless, every time I walk in and I can walk out with something, it's a blessing for me. So I have a lot of editing to catch up with, a lot of work to do for YouTube, and I feel like I'm managing like four or five full-time jobs. I'm on my OnlyFans, I'm on three YouTube channels, I have a job now at the clubs, so it's been pretty hectic, but I'm staying focused, I'm staying motivated. When I tell you that positivity, staying strong is everything in life, it's everything in life. There's gonna be people in your life that you're gonna meet that are, or they're gonna cross your path that are necessarily not gonna have your vision. And that's honestly, it's okay that they don't have your vision. It's okay that they don't see things the way you see things. People have their own lives to live. They have their own journeys to go through. I have my own life to live. I have my own journey to go through. And you know, this life is not conducive to everyone. It really isn't. And um, I understand that I'm just, really focused on my career I want to give myself some time to develop myself and you know really work on just loving myself and focusing on myself and I feel blessed at the end of it all at the end of everything I truly generally just feel blessed that I have the opportunity to do this job at my age if you could please take the time and I kindly ask if you stay to the end of this video please hit that thumbs up button um I don't think you guys really understand how important it is and how it could really change someone's life to do something as simple as just hit the thumbs up button. If you really, if you guys enjoy these vlogs, if you like these vlogs, if you want vlogs that are not PG rated, go to my OnlyFans. The link, in, the link is in the description box. You can also find a lot of videos in the description box. Um, if you're brand new to my channel, please leave a little kiss mark. That makes you an official kiss of mine. And if you've been here with me since day one, I appreciate you. It makes me it makes me emotional just thinking about it because um, I'm beyond grateful. I'm beyond grateful. It's really what it boils down to, and I'm thankful. Thank you.